Google Apps for Education continue to evolve and add features for teachers and students. A new feature for Google Slides just released is called Slides Q&A. It allows presenters, whether that's a teacher or student presenter, the ability for the audience to participate by asking questions digitally through what's called a back channel. So if you ever participated in a webinar, it's a similar feature where you have the ability to ask questions of the presenter. So I have a presentation open that I'll demonstrate this in. On the right hand side, there's the present icon. Go ahead and click the drop down and click presenter view. So this will open a new presenter view for your slideshow. You have the ability to see the table of contents or navigate through the slideshow on the left hand side. So I can jump right to a slide by using these drop down arrows. And all of those features control the on screen presentation. You have the audience tools, which we'll jump into in a minute, and you have the speaker notes, which allow you to see your notes that you've entered on the design mode of your slideshow. Back on the audience tools, you have the ability to start a new Q&A session for this presentation. So this allows the students to access the Q&A session from this hyperlink here. So when I click this, it opens up on my screen. As the teacher, you'll probably want to post this link either on Google Classroom or have it on the board for the students to view. So additionally, the link appears at the top of the presentation. So if kids come in late to a class, they're able to jump right into the Q&A without you having to pause to give them the link. So back on the discussion board, I can see all the questions that come in. And then from the presenter view, you also have the ability to see the questions as they appear entered from the students. Students can ask questions with their Google Plus profile displayed, or they can ask questions anonymously. Another pretty cool feature is the ability to give questions a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So the teacher might want to put in place some classroom management procedures. For example, students could give a thumbs up if they have the same question. Back on my presenter view, I can see a couple students have this question. So additionally, you can now present your slides right to a Google Hangout from your iPhone or iPad. So with just your phone or tablet and the Slides app, you can also present this to any screen using Chromecast, AirPlay, or Google Hangouts. So download the Google Slides app from the Android Google Play Store or from the Apple Store for your iPhone. So in the end, Google Apps for Education continue to evolve and add more features for both teachers and students. As teachers and students experience this virtual discussion format, new ideas and uses will definitely be discovered. So definitely use the comments section below the video on how you plan to or eventually use Google Slides Q&A in your classroom. Thanks for checking us out.